Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. So today in this video, I'm going to create some beautiful room decor for you. This is going to be an absolutely beautiful project once it's finished. So I'm going to be using this candlestick holder that you see here. This is a tapered candlestick holder. It's made of glass and it's really weighty. It has a lot of weight to it. I picked this up from my discount store and it was about $3.50 but it's really nice and it's heavy. So this round mirror, I got that from the Dollar Tree. I've already removed the pads from underneath. What I'm gonna do now is just flip this over onto the back side of the mirror. I'm gonna trace the shape of the candlestick holder. So right now I'm going to take my folk art paint. This color is called platinum and I'm going to paint the back of the mirror. I want the mirror to, I want the back of the mirror to have the same color detail as the candlestick holder. And I'm painting around the square so that when it's time to adhere the mirror to the candlestick holder, there won't be any paint there. So I'm going to paint this. I'm going to let it dry for about an hour and I'm going to paint it again. So this is what it looks like painted again. It's still wet. I'm going to just transfer it right here to this little lid and then I'm going to set it off to the side and allow it to dry. So now it's time to paint the candlestick holder and I'm going to paint it the same color of course. I'm going to leave that top area unpainted because that's the part that's going to be uh, glued to the mirror. I'm going to paint this. I'm going to let it dry for about an hour and then I'm going to paint it again just to fill in any spaces that I may have missed. So while that's drying, it's time to work on the lampshade. So guys, this lampshade is absolutely beautiful. It is so beautiful. And I love the design on it. The inside of the lampshade is smooth and all the detail work is on the outside. So as you can see, it has a frosted section and then it has like an etch, etching on the clear part. I love the design. And I also like that detail work there at the top. And I got this for $4 from my thrift store. So inside, as you can see, are some little nodules. That's going to help keep the lampshade in place after the project is done and is sitting on its base. That's going to help it sit without shifting. I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to clean the inside and the outside of the lampshade. I've already cleaned it off with soap and water. Now I'm going to clean it off a little bit with some alcohol. So if you saw my last video guys, you saw me create these beautiful candle holders. I used some drinking glasses and a little bit of food coloring and a glue, clear glue to create the color that's in the inside. These came out really, really beautiful. And if you haven't seen that video guys, please check it out. I'll leave the link in the description section. You can check it out. That's really beautiful. I made two of them, one green and one pink. So I'm going to be using the sky blue food coloring as well as one of these little bowls that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to create the same mixture that I made in the video, the last video. I'm going to use about one teaspoon of clear gel tacky glue. I'm going to blend in a little bit of water. I'm going to start with a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more later, but I want to make sure this is nice and blended. The glue and water tends to separate, but once you blend it really well, it comes out very smooth. So I'm going to use one drop of the food coloring, one drop guys, and look how intense that color is. So I'm going to add a little bit more water because I think the mixture should be a little bit looser. And we're going to blend that really, really well. So using a paintbrush, I'm going to pull the color from the top to the bottom 
of the lampshade. I'm going to paint the inside because the inside of the lampshade is smooth and all the carved detail work is on the outside of the lampshade. So I'm going to do this until I get a nice color adhesion. And it's coming out really nice guys. As you can see that color is already starting to take. And with my brush I'm just making sure that there are no streaks. So I'm going to let it dry for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to paint it very lightly again just to intensify the color. So right here, I see that some of the color mixture has collected at the bottom of the lampshade. So I'm going to use a small detail brush and just blend it out just a little bit. And I'm also going to smooth out any streaking that I see inside the lampshade. So I'm going to set that off to the side and allow it to dry for about four to five hours. So here's our candlestick holder. It looks so nice and it's fully dry. So I picked up this adhesive bling from Amazon. And if you're interested in this, I'll leave that in the description section below. I'll leave a link. I got four different types for about, I think it was about $12. So I'm going to use one of those to just glam this up a little bit. So now it's time to adhere the candlestick holder to the mirror. And now you see why I left those areas unpainted. I didn't want the paint to interfere with the dry time or the adhesion of my adhesive. So I'm using my Aileen's Mixed Media Adhesive as a permanent glue today. And I'm going to place it right in the center. And I'm gonna set it off to the side and I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours. So it's the next day and this is fully dry and I've decided it needs a little bit more glamming up. So I'm just going to add a little bit more bling down the front and the sides and the back of our candlestick holder base. And guys, this looks so beautiful. This is really nice. You can use a separate candle on this. One of the larger candles, you can use, put it right on top of the mirror. This is really nice. I love the way this looks. So finally, I'm gonna use a metallic permanent marker and I'm going to just paint a little bit of silver around the edge of the mirror just to give it a nice 
finished look. So now that that's done guys, look at our lampshade. Oh, it looks so gorgeous. And again, it has those little nodules inside so that it won't slide around once it's sitting on top of the base. It, this came out absolutely gorgeous. I love the way this looks. So I'm going to be using two types of lightings inside. I'm going to be using an electronic candle and I'm also going to be using a tap light. The tap lights give the most intense lighting and it gives the lampshade a beautiful glow. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I want to thank you so much for joining me. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to thumbs up the video. So you stay well, stay safe and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye bye.